What's up, everybody? We are in the semifinals, VBLS Season 11. You know what it is. Uh, we're going up against Electric this week with a very, uh, very gray, very monotone team. Uh, we look at it here. I've taken off the little shitters who I don't think are coming. And that says a lot, considering that I have Arctabax still here. Uh, so what do we have? We have these four who are very scary. Vivian's annoying and Velusa kind of puts in some work. And Probopass is also there. Uh, so that's really the name of the game this week. Surviving Fluttermane plus Urshifu, and then Ninetales plus Sandy Shocks, and hopefully being able to kill them while Vivian tries to stop me from doing that. Uh, so this is what we've got this week. And again, I guess before I look at that, let's look at the speed tiers here, right? The four fastest mons on Electric's team, all over base 95. All my guys, 95 and lower. So we're going Trick Room again, which is kind of how a lot of my weeks have played out this season. Uh, so, what are we doing in Trick Room, and how are we getting Trick Room up? Because setting Trick Room against a Dark and a Ghost type, like the strongest Ghost and the strongest Dark type in the format, is pretty... It's a daunting task, to say the least, since most Trick Room setters are uh, Ghost types or Psychic types. So, pretty uh, tough problem to solve here, but we, I think, I think I figured it out. So, you can't see him, but that's Sinistra, that's Arcanine Hisui. And then these four are the others we're bringing. So, starting off, the question, the first question to ask is, how do we set up Trick Room? And I think the answer to that is Sinistra plus Bruxish, or one of those two plus Arcanine or Coma O. So, if I lead Sinistra plus Bruxish, what we do is we Rage Powder and use Trick Room. Crazy. Um, Sinistra's, it, well, first off, it has a Focus Sash, so it'll live any crazy, super powerful Terra hits that I don't account for. But it also has just enough EVs to live the big hits it needs to. Uh, once it goes Terra normal, it lives the uh, Wicked Blow from Choice Band Urshifu. And uh, it lives the Specs Moon Blast from Fluttermane. Nah, Fluttermane. Uh, same here for Okani. If I Terra Fairy, I live anything Urshifu does outside of Iron Head, and I always live the uh, Choice Specs Modest uh, Moonblast. And if you if you live that, you also live the uh, Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleam, so that's kind of built into those two calcs there. So once I have Trick Room up from those two, because, um, right, I mean, the only way that this doesn't work is if Flutter Main... Actually, no, I don't think there's really any way around that, unless it's Urshifu with um, Safety Glasses, or Safety Goggles, and then uh, it gets a round redirection there, and it, it hits Okani, and then Fluttermane uses uh, either Terror Grass or uh, Dazzling Gleam. And that's the only way that it can shut down that that lead. And in which case if that happens again, I just go for Trick Room with Sinistra. Easy. Um, so that's, that's who's going to be setting Trick Room. Big Trick Room attackers in the back are mainly these three. Uh, Como-O plus Tyranitar. Assault Vest Tyranitar just doesn't die this week. Uh, most of Electric's team, with the exception of Urshifu, Veluza, and arguably Probopass, are basically just all special mons. So, uh, AV looks awesome. AV in the sand looks even better. Um, it really helps me live some hits that I have no business living. Uh, sand is also nice this week because it helps deal with the, uh, the sun-boosted protosynthesis stuff, which I figure one of those two mons is going to be booster energy. Don't know which one. Could be either. So... Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll shut down the other by just setting up sand. And also toning down uh, Ninetales' attacks here. Uh, Coma O looks really good with a Life Orb and Terra Ghost. Shadow Claw Oko's all Flutter Mains. Close Combat kills uh, all Urshifus. Outrage is just there for good coverage because nothing on this team takes an Outrage besides Proba Pass. And if there's Proba Pass, I'm not clicking Outrage until that thing is gone. Um, and lastly here... I guess, no, I didn't cover Arcanine. Arcanine's here, Choice Bandit, as usual. Flare Blitz, Rock Slide, Terror Blast, and Rock Blast. Rock Blast has good odds to pick up a KO on Fluttermane. Rock Blast is such a hard move to calc. I don't know. I'm not doing Loaded Dice. I don't like that item. Loaded Dice are stupid. <laughs> so I'm not running Loaded Dice. I'll just boost my power other ways. And if I hit four or five, that's awesome. But I, I can also get the KO if I get three, if it's a lower bulk Fluttermane, which in this matchup, I would figure it's probably more bulky. If it doesn't have a sash, though, I just oko it with Flare Blitz. Um, 
Lastly, we have uh, Gliscor here. This slot was a lot of different mons. This was first Meryl, because I thought Meryl plus Sinistra on lead. Meryl goes for Belly Drum, is awesome, which is awesome. But I thought about it more, and then literally earlier today I remembered, oh, you need a lot of health to Belly Drum. Meryl lives a lot of hits on this team. I had max, near max HP, a little spit F, and then that, made, that helped me live everything. Um, but it didn't help me live it with over 50% health. And that's kind of the whole thing with Belly Drum, right? You need to be over 50. Because if I did get the Belly Drum up, Meryl Oko's everything on this team. Uh, with Liquidation, Play Rough, and Aqua Jet. Because I think Aqua Jet does KO a max bulk Flutter main if it's at plus 6 with huge power. And it was like max attack adamant. It's a 6 set, but I don't think it works. Um, then I looked at FICA Bolt for a little bit because slow, Trick Room. Not many electric resists. Uh, figured that might be kind of useful. But ultimately, it doesn't quite have the same staying power that uh, Gliscor does. And uh, I pretty much get... There weren't too many one-shots that Vikavolt picks up the, that Vikavolt picks up over Gliscor, right? It'll be two shots most of the time. It'll do like 80%, whereas Gliscor does just over 50%. And that's still a two-shot either way. So I'd rather take the thing that has better type coverage, a better ability... And also can't be totally ruined by Sleep Powder. And even if I Terra, I'm still, uh, what do you call? What am I talking about? I don't remember. Either way, it does really, it does a really good job here. Um, so that's the team this week. Looking forward to it. Oh, and another big thing was the decision between Knock Off and Terra Blast Fairy on Tyranitar. Tyran Ty ugh, Terra Blast Fairy is obviously for, uh, what do you call? Urshifu. But, realistically, I can't guarantee that I'll be able to ter terrestrialize Tyranitar. It's just... Uh, I, I, I feel like there's a pretty good shot I'll need to Terra to get off my uh, Trick Room. In which case, Terra Blast is not a move. And Knock Slide is very... Or, <laughs> Knock Slide. Uh, Knock Off is very much a move compared to a uh, neutral Terra Blast. So yeah, that's the team. Uh, I'll go message Electric and we'll get right into it. So, the moon is not billions of years old. And you folks who need billions of your I don't know about you guys, but I love watching conspiracy theorists debate obviously wrong points on TikTok. It's like my one of my favorite things to do when I have nothing else to do. I specifically follow people who are flat earthers who like don't believe in dinosaurs and stuff like that. And it's so fun just watching and experiencing that. And uh I'm just waiting for electric and that just popped across my TikTok and I thought uh I should share that with y'all. There we go. That's what we like to see. All right, so we got electric here. Let's jump right into it. All right, snow runs here. That's concerning. <laughs> Why is snow run here? Okay. Uh, I'm shocked. I don't know what to say. Uh, like. Does that change thing? Wait, is that for Gliscor? Snow Runt learns freeze dry, so maybe. No nine tails, no probe pass, and add Snow Runt, I guess. Snow Runt does have Moody and Sheer Cold, which is uh, scary and also annoying. Those two in the front with. Uh, I totally forgot to calc the Lusa Aqua Cutter into this guy. That's not good. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. So we see Fluttermane and... Oh, okay. So this is definitely not the worst case scenario. Booster special attack is scary, but still not the worst thing in the world. I guess I'll just... Does it have a prison trick room? It could, but we don't know that yet. We're going to Rage Powder, and we're going to Trick Room. Terragrass is fine. Okay, that makes sense. So we're going to go around that, go for sleep pa Hurricane! Okay, but we live. Because we are super, super spadef invested. Fuck yeah. So it's probably not friend guard then. Maybe we just go for shadow ball there. And, uh... Well, no. I can't guarantee that. Let's see. Sinistra into this little guy. Machu does about 20, and then Bruxish. Okay. So we're going to do Matcha plus uh, Wave Crash and hope it doesn't have Protect. 
Ah, oh, god damn it. That's very unfortunate. Oh, sweet. So I got nothing done this turn. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Send in Titar. We'll go for Macha for some health, and we'll go for Heavy Slam there. That's fine. Does a good chip. Let's see, get that Macha, do some big damage. Come on, dude, can I get a fucking hit off? Oh my god. I think it's probably a good idea to uh, keep myself somewhat alive. 29 is nice. 31 is huge, actually. Wow. It's way bigger than I thought we were going to be. Oh, nice! Okay, big... That was a really big read. Shadow Clyde does a lot. And we're down to... Who is it? Probably Urshifu. Maybe not. Yeah, that was a big one. Valooza. Interesting. How much does Rock Slide do to... Uh, whatever the fuck that thing's name is. Alright. I'm really, really glad that I went for that heavy slam anyways. Alright, I guess that's game two. Earth power doesn't even do half, so I guess that reveal. Oh, life orb, okay. Okay. Game two. Okay, so that worked last time. So we know that's Terra Grass. Booster, life orb. Never found the item there. Oh, it's Moldbreaker, duh. So that means it has Aqua Jet. Fluttermane. Okay, same leads. Same leads. Do I get crazy? And go for triggering with this guy this time. We're gonna go for it. Is that smart though? The safe play, I don't see what else this thing does differently. Unless it has, like, uh, Pollen Puff. Which I think it does get. But it didn't use... It specifically used Hurricane last game. Which makes me think it probably doesn't have Pollen Puff. Maybe I just go Hyper Aggro and try to kill Fluttermane turn one. Terra Grass. Dazzling Gleam. Let's see. Do I make the right call? Boom! There we go! Huge turn. There we go. <laughs> um, let's see. We match at wave crash. Right. Oh wow, I got a burn there. Crazy. Rock slide and wave crash. And it's too early to say GG. I know that was a really good turn one, but still. Disaster could strike at any moment. Wave crash just to make sure I don't miss. Nice. Boink. No run. Holy schmoly. And that means... Oh, I'm out of I guess. Duh. No freeze, please. Heavy slam does a good bit. Not enough. Wave crash is 100. Alright, there we go. We'll knock and we'll outrage. All right, so that is the semis. Oh, we're back in the conference finals. Damn. Very scary. All right, so I guess we'll get some post-game debriefing, and I'll chat in a sec. Oh, shit. So, we're back. 
Uh, we're in the finals. Uh, see you in the next one. Later.